Hello everyone and welcome to IgniteVST.com major update V2.5 for HeatUp2 has been released and the plugin has undergone a lot of changes, improvements and also comes with new features. In this video I would like to show you everything that's new or has been changed. So first of all we've moved to a new file format that uses lossless compression. The quality of the samples is the same, but with a smaller size. The factory library of HeatUp2 so far was 30 GB in size. The new factory library is only 16 GB in size without any loss of quality. Also we've added new instruments to the factory library, so HeatUp2 V2.5 comes with 500 instruments. Another great feature in HeatUp2 V2.5 is GUI resizing what allows you to adjust the size of the plugin window seamlessly. Therefore we simply click this ribbon corner and scale the plugin as small or as big as we want. The cool thing here is that HeatUp2 stores the value of the GUI size. You don't have to click save or whatever, it just saves the settings. The next time you open a new instance of HeatUp2, it will have the size you have used the last time. If you ever want to go back to the original size, you simply double click the ribbon corner and it has the default size. With update V2.5, we've also improved the preset management. So far HeatUp2 was always showing you the factory library by default. V2.5 defaults to the last library being used. Means when you, let's say, make a West Coast beat and you use the Kushlab library, when you now load a new instance of HeatUp2, it will automatically show you the Kushlab library again. It will always show you the last library being used. Also, we've added two new categories, the favorites and the all preset categories. Let's talk about the favorites. So, we now can simply flag presets as favorite by right clicking them. Let's do this. You see the little stars pop up here. And when we go now to the favorite category, you see we only see our presets that are flagged as favorite. And when we go back in here and click them again with the right mouse key, um, they disappear from the favorite category. Let's remove these two. Boom, empty again. The all presets category shows you the factory library and all expansions in one list. I've installed all expansions available and in my case that's 175 808s and subs 80 ARPs and sequences, 235 bass presets, 95 belts, 135 brasses, 65 choirs, 40 drum kits, 40 guitars, 95 hits, um, 146 keys, over 300 leads, um, 145 pads, 165 plugs, uh, 60 stringed instruments like harps and stuff like that, uh, 160 strings, 155 synths and much much more. So that's over 2200 instruments that I have in this um, heat up. Selecting a preset in the browser now shows a loading indicator. When we select the instrument, you see this nice little loading bar. Also, now you can use the up and down keys on your keyboard to browse through the instruments instead of using the mouse.
when you reach the end of a category, it automatically jumps into the next category. Update V2.5 comes with two new effects in the effects section. So when we go to the effects page, you will find these little tabs here, one and two. Let's go to the second page. The first thing is the panner. It's a tempo synced panorama modulation. You can play back in different speeds as well. So let me show you what this does. When you pay attention, you will hear that this effect is being used in a lot of songs you hear um, on the radio or whatever, because it makes your mixing a bit easier. It takes an instrument out of the center and it's it's an amazing effect. I, I love it. I use it. So since this is in heat up, I use this a lot. Let me show you a beat I've made with this. So for sure you shouldn't use this effect on every instrument in a beat. In this case I used it um, on the um, keys and on these little vocal chops that are part of our new expansion pack Urban Essentials. We will release a separate video about this expansion so make sure to check our YouTube channel. Let's talk about the other effect in here. It's our Vice One compressor algorithm in Heat Up 2. All you do is you activate the compressor, set the threshold, set the ratio, the attack and release however you want. You also have the makeup gain in here. It's a full compression algorithm in Heat Up Two. We've also improved the look and responsiveness of the scope. This R preset is also in Urban Essentials. It's called IO Bits. And as you see, for this preset, we've also used the panorama modulation and the built in compression. And it sounds and also looks great. Okay, so let's move on to the settings screen. We've added a new feature, delay damping. This feature will be activated by default for every instrument from now on. What it does, it adds a damping 
to the delay, what makes the delay sound more natural. I will show you this plug with the ping pong delay without delay damping first. And now let's activate the delay damping. Sounds way better. Also, we've added um, two new mod wheel destinations in the settings screen, the wobble depth and the wobble speed. Another thing is the chorus. We've improved the sound of the chorus. It sounds way, way better now. It sounds amazing. And we again could lower the CPU usage a bit. I mean, HeatUp2 doesn't use much CPU at all, but it's always good to save some there. Um, another small improvement uh, or fix is that now the um, sequencer responds to the input velocity before it was always giving out uh, on the maximum level. Now it depends on the input velocity. Um, and some smaller fixes like little graphical issues eventually we have corrected. So yeah, this is really the best heat up we've ever created. And we've also updated the demo. The demo now comes with 118 instruments. That's a four gigabyte demo version. The demo is the newest build um, V2.5. So it also has the compressor in there and the new features and everything. So yeah, go to IgniteVST dot com check the demo uh, if you don't already have heat up to if you have heat up to um, go to ignitevst.com my account and uh, you will find a video in there um, that gives you more instructions how to update uh, to 2.5 and if you have any questions, comment below or write a mail, however. Um, thanks for watching, uh, stay tuned for more and make sure to um, check our YouTube channel and uh, check the video for Urban Essentials, our new expansion for Heat Up to this expansion is amazing it is really amazing um, i love it and i'm very sure you will love it as much as we do so have a nice time guys i'm out see you soon bye